Good evening ladies and gentlemen. We absolutely believe in the power of innovative entrepreneurship on every level. That's why we are exploring ways to improve our education wing by making it as effective as possible. I Priyanka on behalf of Federation of Indian Industry and Professionals welcome you all to the leading Navurja wing to educate and make aware mankind in the country and globe. The Federation of Indian Industry and Professionals is organizing a series of Navur Jawing in this live webinar series today's topic is zoonotic diseases this webinar will mainly focus on diseases transmitted from animals to human beings this session will be delivered by our guest speaker Dr Sunil Ramkrishna Deshpande who is veterinary physician and surgeon here are some house rules for you keep your phone in silent mode rename yourself with mobile number Put your queries in the chat box. Keep your notepad and pen ready. Note down all the relevant points for discussion. Also, for your information, a recorded version of webinar will be available on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you. Now, it is time to learn the fundamentals of the Federation of Indian Industry and Professionals. Unite together, succeed together. The Federation of Indian Industry and Professionals is a unique multi-stakeholder organization of visionary industrialists, businessmen and professionals who share a commitment in shaping the future of industry and society at large. The Federation of Indian Industry and Professionals is a not-for-profit organization. FIIP was established on the 1st of October 2020 with the objective of boosting a small and medium business movement across the country and becoming the voice of India's various business sectors. It serves its members and the whole society through the private and public corporate sectors within the country. FIIP is a lifeline for new startups, small and medium business leaders. It is a crucial platform for networking and collaboration for each stakeholder who is working for the nation building cause and to build Atmanirbhar Bharat. FIIP is actively engaged in the welfare of business community and general society. It encourages debate and organizes engagement programs with policymakers, Indian private and public corporate sectors, multinational companies, regional chambers of commerce, industrial associations and professional associations in each state of the country. FIIP has created a cluster network of 40,000 plus GST practitioners and made available a platform for networking and consensus building within and across sectors and is the best platform for Indian industry policymakers and the international business community. Vision to facilitate and boost entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial development in the country, to support socio-eco development leaders throughout the nation. To encourage women power in various fields to make Atmanirbhar Nari. Mission creating a world-class talent body of 5 lakh influential and powerful industrialists, entrepreneurs, businessmen women and professionals through FIIP platform within 10 years. DNA, Sustainable Growth, Empowerment and Creation Purpose, Helping Business People, Supporting Economic Development Creating Industrial Insights, Inculcating Industrial Development Facilitating Forums for Professionals Solving Problems with the Right Solutions Enhancing Skills Among Business Owners and Creating a Common Platform for Building Interpersonal Relationships Support for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Businesses formulating applied strategies to meet challenges of various industries, making society aware of social, health and environmental issues. FIIP has various business platforms such as Network, Industrial Insights, Karta, Spot, Digital, Womenpreneur and Navurja. These platforms facilitate to make our country Atmanirbhar Bharat in the field of socio-eco-environment, education, social and life. Now, it is time to proceed for our today's Navurja program. FIIP has observed the gap in the areas of social life, personal life, health perspective, environment and lacunas of women values, which needed to be addressed independently by various awakening programs and practical applications to eradicate unwanted elements affecting as I mentioned. FIIP has the pool of talent and versatile experts from each domain, to do just as these issues and lead society towards quality, health and harmony. With this thought, we have extended as a harbinger through Navurja, where FIIP is going to address the issues through series of programs providing practical and workable solutions for mankind in the country and globe. 
the navurja is mainly focused on life and social health and environment each area will be included with several topics and webinars for example life and social will have topics like child education and parenting childhood obesity gender inequality and many more such topics health will have topics like monsoon health ayurveda and lifestyle diabetes a bit of truth and so many such other topics which will be very very important environment will have topics like green energy energy conservation rainwater harvesting and many more like these topics with this brief about navurja wing now i request our program coordinator to take over introducing today's topic and the speaker thank you hello yes am i audible okay uh, now uh, good evening all i think today's uh, uh, i will introduce uh, our today's speaker guest uh, yeah so dr sunil ramkrishna deshpande is a mbsc that is a master in veterinary science dbm and dit his education is uh, mbsc is a veterinary doctor he is ex uh, ex expertise in veterinary pharmacologist and uh, toxicologist so working experience uh, he is having very good work working experience that is a livestock development officer in the department of animal husbandry and uh, yog shikshak and patanjali yog uh, samiti y is a editor uh, sankalp and krishna tarun of weekly rotary international y so he is in rotary also member of rotary international satara uh, lokmanya tilak uh, smarak sanstha y trustee of uh, govardhan sanstha y so he is a writer very regular writer uh, regular script writer and program uh, presenter for akashvani satara uh, columnist of various magazines presently writing for pet owners since a year in daily ik title swans sakha so let i will welcome dr sunil deshpande over to you doctor so welcome to our fib platform welcome doctor uh, am i audible yes yes you are you are yes yeah so this is uh, dr sunil deshpande and i am uh, coming communicating to you all uh, through nav urja the uh, wonderful uh, namaste uh, uh, now the wonderful four words yes. giving uh, great energy to every aspect of life newer energy in all aspects of life social life economical life uh, health every everything uh, which connects us uh, and uh, i'm very happy that uh, i have been invited to talk to you people who are all, all learned and uh, from various uh, uh, aspects of the society with various expertise and uh, uh, i'm here to talk to you about uh, something which uh, maybe of a little bit of your interest or maybe you have heard about it and uh, maybe you have thought about it sometimes but uh, uh may, you may not be knowing uh, in a very length at length about it so the topic of today uh, which i would like to converse with you i will not be giving any lecture kind of thing just uh, whatever uh, just in a, a, a very small and uh, crisp manner i would like to talk to you it it is about the zoonotic diseases and uh, then uh, uh for uh, this zoonotic diseases is a, a typical word which you may not be conversant with uh, some of you some of you from medical fraternity if you are there then you must be knowing a little bit about it or uh, somebody some people from you may be knowing uh, uh, quite a lot about it so i will like to uh, uh, converse with you with a little bit of uh, slides uh, uh, pres presentation uh, so i'll just uh, like to share uh, 
So today uh, I'm going to talk to you about zoonosis, and uh, why I'm talk going to talk about it is uh, has a reason that uh, uh, right uh, after five days from now uh, we will be celebrating World War We veterinarians, we medicos, and all uh, who are concerned with the health department or health uh, health aspect will be celebrating World Rabies Day. So this, what is this World Rabies Day? Uh, is this uh, slide uh, view, uh, viewed by all? Yes, so, visible, yes. Yeah, visible, okay. So uh, what is zoonosis? I'll just uh, go with the word first. See, zoonosis is a, a Greek word, uh, which uh, means zoo is an animal. Many of you people must know in zoology and other words you must have heard of. And nosan means disease. So when zoo and nosis, animal and diseases uh, come together, it is called zoonosis. And this word was coined uh, first by Rudolf Virchow, who defined it for the communicable disease. Now, what is zoonosis? Communicable diseases is the uh, diseases which are transferred or transmitted or communicated from animals to human beings. And uh, uh, you will uh, wonder why this topic today and what, how I am concerned with it. Why, why I should know about it and what is this? Uh, I, uh, uh, is there any relevance of my uh, daily routine to this? So I would like to tell you that it is why it is relevant is that uh, zoonotic diseases are 60% of the diseases which are caused to human beings are zoonotic diseases. Means they are originally uh, appearing in animals and they have been communicated through various means and modes to the human beings. And thus uh, they are uh, like uh, uh, transmitted from animals to human beings and they cause the diseases. So we must know about this. And to know about this, there are two uh, significant days uh, which are celebrated world over. Uh, these dates are like, you know, uh, these are like uh, Deepavali, Dashara to all veterinarians like us. Like one day is uh, 6th July when uh, the scientist Louis Pasteur, you must have heard of his name, he invented the uh, rabies vaccine. That is the vaccine against uh, rabies virus, which is deadly virus uh, and usually given to us from canines uh, and uh, in human beings. Uh, the death in all the species where rabies occurs, death is obvious. So uh, on 6th uh, July, uh, Louis Pasteur injected the first rabies vaccine and that day, uh, day is celebrated as World Zoonosis Day. And uh, on 28th uh, September, which is uh, just about to come, is the day when uh, it is the death anniversary of uh, Mr. Louis Pasteur, the scientist who invented rabies vaccine. So why, <coughs> well, why to celebrate this is to just commemorate, to just learn, to just know, to just understand the importance of the diseases which are uh, there, uh, which are caused to us human beings by the animals. Almost there are one four one five like one thousand four hundred and fifteen microbial diseases affecting humans, as documented till date. There are sixty one one percent of these microbials are the the microbes or the bacteria or the viruses uh, are zoonotic. Means they are uh, they are. Uh, we get it, they, them from the animals. And 13% of the species are regarded as emerging or re-emerging. Like they are, they, these are the newer diseases. We, like, uh, we have all suffered through COVID and we have understood that there is a little bit of connection of bats to it. Then there is some uh, Japanese encephalitis virus. 
then uh, we got to know that some pangolin is involved there are it is a big encyclopedia where uh, like it is not a very small topic it's a big encyclopedia of the diseases of the bacteria the viruses which are the very small creatures which are not visible by our naked eye but they are there in the uh, vicinity of us they are on our body they are on our clothes they are on our uh, pets we are with the pets which we keep in, uh, with us and uh, then uh, these diseases they also they are also caused to our pets our uh, animals our uh, lactating animals and they also uh, some of these diseases they are also affect they are also affecting us like we are human beings so 61% is quite a number so we must learn and know about it that's why this exercise which uh, we are going to have uh, thanks to mr shantanu raste for uh, making me speak about it it's a topic of my own interest and i will be more elaborating on uh, rabies which is the concern of the uh, today's concern and uh, i am just uh, will be passing reference about some other diseases which are zoonotic diseases now uh, what are the factors uh, which uh, affect the emergence of zoonotic diseases how they come where from where they come there are many n number of reasons like you know uh, there are uh, there are many things which are uh, which have made these zoonotic diseases important and more in number they have gone to 61% because of the some uh, 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 important reasons so i'll just uh, 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 go past about the reasons these are all i think we have we have all made man made reasons many of them some are obvious and natural reasons first is ecological changes in man's environment and agriculture operations now we are encroaching the lands encroaching forest encroaching all the environmental resources and then uh, uh, then we uh, have a little space a very uh, like a small space for uh, animals left uh, to roam about to have their own food and to have their own family and to uh, live their own life they are bound to interact with us because there are uh, n number of environmental changes agricultural changes encroachments and all increased moment of traveling and these ecological changes can cause like uh, zoonotic diseases like leptospirosis you must have heard of leptospirosis sometimes many times if leptos uh, like uh, any uh, patient is seen then there uh, a news came, comes in the newspaper that there were two uh, leptos two, uh, patients were found in so and so area so and so city like uh, you must have heard of plague in 1910 it had uh, the, it had created a havoc pre independence in a pre independence era and there was a uh, lots of deaths every family had one death because of plague caused by you know uh, which was given to us from Uh, rats rodents and other uh, lower species then there is rift valley fever then there is kasanur forest disease kfd there are uh, n number of numbers like you know 61% of the one uh, like the uh, 1500 uh, positives diseases is a, a huge encyclopedia i will just have a passing reference to this when there is increased movement or traveling of man now man travels a lot from here to there from this country to that country from this area to that area from uh, like tropical region to forest region and other things which was not earlier there in earlier centuries man used to live in very small space in uh, a small area and was uh, not interacting with animals uh, to uh, uh, after certain extent there was a limitation but now due to traveling then there is a, there are zoonotic diseases like amebiasis giardiasis colibacillosis salmonellosis sars yellow fever and many other then uh, uh, now human beings are handling their meat consumption is more 
the eating habits have grown uh, human beings are uh, uh, actually eating almost all the species it has been seen world over that this country these people eat so and so animal this is this country people eat so and so animal we heard we read, we read about it. we usually eat uh, like caprines and uh, this thing goat meat and poultry but there are some countries where beef is very common there are some countries where the people also go for dog meat and other many like uh, uh, their eating habits are enormous grown enormously so handling of animal byproducts is there and uh, there is huge animal byproduct waste also available throughout the world so this causes uh, diseases like anthrax this is diseases like chlamydiasis dermatophytosis tularemia and many other diseases which are caused in human beings are uh, due to uh, handling of animal byproducts there are uh, some uh, diseases like uh, parasitic diseases like uh, tenia solium uh, one parasite is there which is usually available in uh, goat meat or some red meat or something and if it is not very clean and neat byproduct and which is eatable then it is very likely possible that from animal to human beings these diseases are easily to get accessed access so there is increase in density of animal population also now why because obviously we have kept a very left a low lesser space for them we have acquired almost all the areas we are acquiring jungles we are acquiring hills we are acquiring all the wherever we can encroach and build houses build row houses build bungalows build resorts build you know destroying jungles and then uh, these uh, animal population either they go some go for extinction because they, they just become nervous and they cannot breed themselves they cannot eat on their own and they become extinct some of the species and then some animals they stay in very dense uh, area now for food and other purpose they may encroach or they come in the human habitats and then uh, they can transfer their diseases you might may, may not be knowing that there is there are some diseases like tuberculosis which are actually you uh, zoonotic diseases there is some dermatophytosis like skin disease which is also zoonotic disease then there is uh, another reason for this uh, increase of zoonotic uh, diseases which is increased trade in animal products like uh, uh, animal products are now exported to many countries from this country to that country and if uh, the all the hygienic and all uh, disease free components are not checked like the meat if you are consuming the meat of some uh, species which may not be vaccinated properly in that country or in your own country and then if it it is carrying some disease material like parasite like uh, bacteria or virus then it can be consumed by you and it can just uh, be passed on to you we people so, so there are some anthrax like bacillus anthracis there is a very small component which is available which can cause a deadly disease like anthrax then there is brucellosis brucella abortus is a one of the bacteria and it causes uh, habitual abortions in not only uh, animals but also in human beings so if we consume uh, milk from uh, brucella aborted uh, brucella affected uh, cattle or buffalo or if it is not uh, like uh, not very boiled and all and then if you are it is access to you or if that bacteria is accessible to many people like dairy farmer like veterinarian like many uh, dairy farm handlers and then they get uh, these uh, bacteria in their own body and then there uh, these symptoms like habitual abortions also occur in human species there is salmonellosis like white diarrhea and other uh, causes white diarrhea it is also seen in poultry it is also seen in human beings it is also seen in cattle then there is hantan virus there is bird flu you must have heard of the flu uh, influenza virus it is like uh, it is a big uh, topic uh, which is uh, which has caused a very economical havoc uh, 
uh, i think uh, five six years or 10 years back when there was a huge outbreak of bird flu from navapur in dole in maharashtra and then uh, it uh, spread uh, to some of the districts in uh, maharashtra and some of the parts in uh, india is uh, occasionally affected though it is affecting the uh, birds and uh, people have a fear and there are some uh, some uh, parts of it uh, some parts of these diseases like h1n1 and all they also cause some problem in human beings then there is another reason for uh, the factors which cause zoonotic diseases more emerging and uh, acquired uh, is the drug resistant organisms like uh, if you treat uh, animals for e coli staphylococcus aureus it is now very difficult in even human beings and even in animals to treat such uh, bacteria like e coli staphylococcus they are like you know uh, uh, in mythological uh, this thing you can call them ahiravad mahiravad kind of thing they are really not uh, like uh, they cannot be handled very easily by uh, ordinary uh, antibiotics and then there is resistance and then this cause diseases in animals as well as human beings then there is uh, like changing livestock farming patterns now there is uh, like you know very less space left for dairy farmers also to keep their animals so they are in very proximity of their own house the their uh, animal shelters are uh, just adjacent to their own house and their kitchen and uh, like the interaction is quite uh, uh, more as against earlier uh, centuries where the animals used to be let loose and they were not very in uh, very much in contact with the animal uh, human beings but for milking purpose or some uh, reasons they good yes yes used to get the contact in interaction but now the interaction is more now changing environmental conditions like including climates and disaster like i as i said plague leptospirosis uh, they are caused from the rats rodents and other uh, animal species then they also cause uh, these diseases to human beings there are some pathogens which change uh, like genetic shift hota hai usme the drift is there they have mutation kind of thing and then they mutate like there is protein kind of thing uh, uh, which is available in these viruses and when they change the species like if they are in uh, rats if they are in cattle then if from, uh, from cattle to human beings if they are want to uh, transfer the diseases then they have to change their uh, little protein structure or something it is called mutation and when they mutate then they get adjusted to newer bodies like uh, from a uh, 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 like a, any organism which is there in uh, cattle will change himself a little when it goes to human beings then uh, this uh, this is called mutation which is very common in viruses and it is very challenging for our us to uh, get control of the diseases due to mutation now we generally uh, classify this zoonosis on the part of their causative agents like it is there is bacterial zoonosis which is caused by bacteria you uh, people who, uh, who are listening to this and uh, were not from uh, medical background may not be knowing these terms well but i like to just uh, explain in a very small uh, this thing that bacteria is a very small organism virus is even smaller than bacteria rickettsia is a medium small organism protozoa is unicellular organism one one cell organism it has only one cell but it causes deadly diseases then helminths means parasites fungus means uh, as you know the fungus is grows on the uh, food and other items which are stale then there are ectoparasites like ticks mites and fleas flies home flies house flies these are ectoparasites means they are parasites which uh, stay on the body of human beings and animals as well so the diseases caused by these bacteria are called cause uh, they are called bacterial diseases like anthrax is there brucellosis is there you may come across this uh, terms again and again plague leptospirosis salmonellosis etc etc then virus also causes some deadly zoonotic diseases like rabies 
which is our uh, maybe we will talk about it a little uh, on uh, elaborative manner rabies is a virus and it causes rabies in uh, all the species like they uh, it is caused in uh, cattle it is caused in sheep goat cattle human beings all the species dog cat everyone then there are argo viruses kfd yellow fever influenza wagera wagera there are rickettsial uh, uh, argo organisms which also cause some zoonotic diseases in human beings and animals as well they are murin typhus tick typhus scrub typhus q fever all those sorts are rickettsial zoonoses then unicellular organism one cell organism like toxoplasma trypanosoma lishpania babesia all these cause cause protozoal zoonosis this these diseases are caused in all the species including human beings helminths like uh, parasites they also as i said uh, tenia is there um, uh, available in meat and it comes through meat to us our body and then it causes uh, same symptoms parasitic problems in human beings as similar to uh, animals schistosoma is there dracoeliasis is there echinococcosis is there hydatid cyst and other many of the diseases it is a encyclopedia as i said i will just give a passing reference fungus also causes zoonotic diseases like deep mycosis means dermatitis skin infections many skin infections they are caused by fungal uh, fungus they are caused in dogs also they are passed from dogs to us also uh, it's like that it's the parasites also cause many of the diseases maggoted wound and scabies and all caused to dogs and from dogs it, it is passed on to us human beings now uh, according to how it is spread uh, these diseases how they come to human beings uh, uh, there is also one classification mode how the diseases are transported from animals to human beings like one is like direct zoonosis means it is caused from vertebrate host vertebrate means those who have the spine those animals who, when they spray, spread the disease from them to the host like man by direct contact like rabies i said anthrax these are diseases which are caused by direct contact leptospirosis toxoplasmosis toxoplasmosis is a disease Uh, caused by toxoplasma gondii which is a protozoa which is uh, actually shredded from a cat's uh, feces now if the cat is a, uh, a very close uh, animal to us it comes in our bed it comes uh, it licks our uh, like uh, face it comes uh, sits on our lap it uh, touches us it, it kisses us and uh, it is very likely that the uh, toxoplasma uh, the protozoa like toxoplasma can be easily passed on to us from it uh, on our body and it causes the similar symptoms like abortions in uh, human beings also so it is said that when you are expecting a baby in your house uh, you better uh, avoid keeping cats or if you are keeping cats and if you can't live, live without them then you must deworm them regularly so that there is no affection of toxoplasma gondii the protozoa which causes toxoplasmosis rabies i will be talking to about uh, in a little bit little more time then there is cyclozoonosis like require they require one one more than one vertebrate host but no invertebrate host for the completion of life cycle of the agent like echinococcus granulae or tenia solium they uh, need uh, uh, more than one host for the passing of the disease like it is a tenia it goes first in the meat then the meat is consumed by uh, humans or animals then it causes the same disease to them then there is metazoonosis which is transmitted biologically by invertebrate vectors in which the agent multiplies or develops and there is a always extend incubation period before transmission to another vertebrate host like plague it usually if plague virus goes in the rat then it grows in the rat and then uh, it is caused to human beings when it is in vicinity of human beings schistosoma nasalis it is also similar to that leishmaniasis 
it is a protozoal disease which is also uh, like metazoonosis means it needs a invertebrate vectors vectors means some uh, uh, person who will carry this disease from one uh, species to one animal species to human beings then there is saprozoonosis sapro means that is a non animal development site like soil sapro like plant material or soil or pigeon droppings or birds droppings or something and they also require a vertebrate host and from there they pass this disease to human beings like aspergillosis aspergillosis comes from the like uh, the pigeon droppings usually pigeon are affected then pigeon they passed on this disease to human beings uh, through their droppings uh which are uh, when human beings come in contact with this uh, droppings they may acquire this uh, disease then there is coccidiomycosis cryptococcus histoplasmosis zygomycosis so and on and so forth there is anthropozoonosis means infections transmitted to man from lower vertebrates like rabies leptospira plague vagara vagara brucellosis lower species to human beings then zoo anthroposis anthropogenesis is infections transmitted from man to lower vertebrate like man also gives some uh, diseases back as a return gift like streptococci staphylococci diphtheria vagara vagara tuberculosis in cattle and parrots it can also as well give away give back these diseases to the other species there is amphic xenosis which means infections contained in both man and lower vertebrate animals and transmitted in either direction staphylococcus is there salmonellosis is there what does it cause like what is uh, there are some factors which are neglected in zoonosis like significant human morbidity and mortality due to some disease is uh neglected then it also zoonosis imposes a dual burden on human beings and animals there is fear psychosis uh, in keeping animals because of the disease names of the diseases we hear and we are afraid that it can cause some problem in our home into our human beings and then we do not go about it then there are some ancient diseases often eliminated in wealthy countries so the zoonosis is neglected there like in england uh, you may uh, be uh, you may wonder uh, that rabies is not uh, seen in uh, england or great britain because there were extensive measures taken to eradicate this disease in that country since the country was small and more uh, like uh, there was controlled uh, uh, effic efficacy efficacious uh, efforts were made so the disease is not vigilant there but it is like it is endemic disease in india because in india there are more than 50000 deaths every year of human beings due to rabies rabies i usually call it is a like a one word uh, it is like a dem uh, dragon of one word it can uh, create a havoc uh if it is it it comes to the human body or any animal body because death is the only answer there there are some control at source when feasible is highly cost effective there are some control measures are taken so zoonosis may not be uh, taken care of uh, very easily sometimes it is not considered important and sometimes it is not uh, spread to globally so it is been uh, neglected it is seen that poor and marginalized communities are affected more because of the health issues cleanliness issues and then if they are affected there it is neglected now re emerging and reemerging diseases in, in uh, humans and animals are uh, uh, seen due to these factors tourism if you go to some country where uh, some uh, deadly disease is prevalent 
then it can come to us and it can affect us and it, we can also pass this disease to people fellow friends in our society in our own country then there are changes in land use land has been encroached and the resources of food and other living resources of the animals are been shrinked and then it is affect it is affecting the human habitat now there are pathogens we adapted to new host species like there are some pathogens which were not causing some disease in like uh, places species like human beings or some other species they are adopted they have adopted to this now and they are causing these diseases there is acquisition of new virulence uh, traits virulence is increasing the mutation is there the, they change faces viruses and they affect new, newer species uh, livestock management practices are changed now the uh, dairy farms are becoming small there is lesser space available there is congestion of keeping animals and then the diseases can occur more and then there is congestion and there is interaction of human beings like in you bigger cities you have you have, you have seen the dairy farms very close to your uh, societies uh, uh, and uh, there is the interaction and then they, obviously interaction is good all as well as bad a good in interaction is like they give us a very happy thoughts and uh, pleasant uh, this thing feeling but also they also pass on some viruses or bacteria which can be not very good for us companion animals like dogs and cats which we keep in our house some exotic birds also are uh, like uh, they are a source of uh, a joy and like you know they are all our furry friends we call them we are very happy when the dogs are there in our house and uh, yes they give us uh, social uh, this thing uh, status they give us happiness they give us uh, like uh, those who are introvert they are very happy when the pet is there at house but it can be also a source of some of the many of the diseases and it can be uh, like if you are patting your dog if you are kissing your dog if you are keeping your dog at a very close proximity to yourself then you must clean your hands you must keep yourself clean you must uh, cleanse your hands and other organs uh, regularly to get rid of the uh, diseases probable diseases which we can acquire from these animals there is some like exotic foods are there and they can also give access to the zoonosis exotic pets also can carry on some viruses and bacteria from their uh, the, the countries to us and then they can they can transmit these diseases to our country fellows and our pets also here climatic changes also affect all these factors rabies rabies uh, uh, it has got you know uh, like in india rabies accounts for almost 20000 deaths annually and uh, it is a disease of central nervous system uh, and uh, in uh, the small brain then there is a place called hippocampus and when the virus goes to that place then it shows its effect and the effects are like you know uh, they are very frightening and the most animal bites in india like 91.5 are by dogs and of which 60% are by stray dogs 40% by pets and you can treat them like you know equal on the basis of fear of the rabies because any dog can cause rabies whether he is uh, like uh, vaccinated or he is not vaccinated you must take care of yourself if you are con in contact with their teeth their uh, saliva and there any secretions then you must take care of it saliva is the richest source of rabies uh, transmission from dogs to human beings it is not only uh, that uh, bite of dog causes rabies but only uh, if you come in contact with its saliva somehow like the saliva if it is uh, growling on the its uh, legs its uh, other parts of body and if you come in contact with that and if you have you have a wound on your hand or any body part 
and if that uh, saliva gets access to that uh, wound then the virus may explain uh, it like uh, may multiplicate there and can cause the deadly rabies infection this infection can be caused in 3 to 8 weeks like if it if your dog bites you at the uh, at your feet then uh, as this virus uh, uh, is transmitted through nerve nerves then it, uh, it it takes a little more time to reach the brain but if it is you know if you are bitten at your mouth or your ears or your nose or something then this uh, bite can cause rabies very uh, fastidiously so there is a protocol of uh, post bite vaccinations on uh, the zero day when the dog Uh, or cat bites you on the third day of it, seventh day of it, fourteenth day of it, and twenty eighth day of it. If you do uh, these uh, this thing, then uh, vaccination, then the chances of getting rabies are lesser. But if you avoid this or if you miss some of this, and uh, then uh, then there is a problem. it can create a problem so uh <coughs> there uh, the uh, how you identify rabies rabies is also caused as uh, called as hydrophobia then it causes hydrophobia aerophobia and photophobia now phobia means uh, uh, hate hatred and uh, hydrophobia like uh, if dog or uh, hates uh, taking water then it can be a sign of rabies then aerophobia if it it avoids uh, the wave of fan or if you uh, there is a uh, airy space it, it goes away from the airy space then there is aerophobia photophobia if it gets away from light then there is photophobia so these are the symptoms of uh, rabies more seen in human beings and uh, you uh, if it, they are seen in dogs also so salivation is the one of the important symptoms of rabies and then there is a uh, uh, progressive uh, symptoms are seen and then paralysis occurs and then uh, the animal or the affected human being can, can go to coma and death is for sure so if untreated if it is not treated then fatality rate is 100% death is sure so post exposure treatment as i said should be given very meticulously post exposure treatment at least uh, usually earlier you used to get 14 injections at your belly and it was a really horrifying thing to get injections every day for 14 days and now it is not that uh, cumbersome it is very easy the vaccine doesn't cause you anything doesn't cause you fever or anything they it is very cool but you must take it on time the taking vaccines on time giving vaccination to your dogs and cats on time can save these uh, occurrences of rabies because they will give protection to their dogs and cats if they are vaccinated they will get protection against rabies and obviously if they are bitten by some species or some dogs or cats then they getting uh, the infection of rabies chances are less and obviously then indirectly we are also saved from getting access to rabies so we must uh, be very peculiar and very uh, strict about vaccinations to our pets and vaccinations to our even livestock and other uh, species because we don't want to get uh, diseases from them we want to get a love affection production milk meat or other things from them not the diseases as obvious so you must vaccinate them and vaccination is the only key for any uh, viral affection then uh, there is uh, one disease called brucellosis as i already tell you told you uh, this is uh, caused by uh, bacteria called brucella and it causes uh, abortions in human beings if uh, it is uh, been access to human beings it is highly contagious zoonosis zoonosis caused by ingestion of if the milk is not sterilized or not boiled uh, 
if the meat from that infected animal are uh, uh, is containing the secretions usually the vaginal secretions or other secretions then it can uh, cause this uh, uh, disease it is not deadly but it can cause habitual abortions fever then then can be scrotitis and other uh, things can have uh, infertility can occur and it can be a health hazard to human beings also so we must avoid this uh, this thing uh, brucella how can we avoid it we can uh, keep our animals clean we can keep our uh, large animals clean when they delivered a baby then all the cleanly precautions can be taken if your uh, female dog at home delivers babies well by whelping then you can take care of her and uh, there are many other factors detailed factors which your vet can uh, tell you uh, from time to time to avoid uh, such uh, infection will not go in very much technical details maybe <laughs> some of you may get bored uh, due to all very much detail dissing but i'll just get a gist of it there is a uh, there was occurrence of plague dengue infection caused by enterobacteria like yersinia pestis ancient it is a ancient disease you know the human beings and animals are staying together since uh, like uh, lakhs of years maybe but they are not living a, a very uh, so they are having a playful life as well as the animals are uh, prey to the animals uh, human beings for their uh, food as their food but there are uh, diseases also which are transferred from animals to human beings so it is a three way interaction uh there were three pandemics six uh, since 6th century which occurred and india had a fatal outbreak uh, in 2002 in maharashtra and simla respectively of plague caused by black rat uh, and oriental rat flea and it was uh, transmission was by droplets of this black rat which had a physical contact by soil contamination or airborne contamination to the human beings and through the vectors like insects and then there were uh, conditions as caused as plague in human beings which are fever chills weaknesses headaches swollen tender lymph nodes and other symptoms such conditions were seen there was acral gangrene was there then there there were spots all over the body and there, it was treated but it was a bit of uh, serious uh, zoonotic affection there is leptospirosis also very important zoonotic disease which is emerging globally uh, health problem it is caused by leptospira introvans there is leptospira pomona leptospira canicola leptospira ictorohemorrhagica there are many strains which cause uh, these are usually present in rodents rodent means rats and other uh, uh, animals uh, and they uh, when they come in contact with human beings or they are uh, then these diseases are seen more seen in endemic areas like kerala tamil nadu gujarat karnataka and maharashtra where their rodents domestic, domestic and wild animals form the reservoir of infection they are the big source of infection to us so either we may get rid of this or we may keep cleanliness in our food habits in our eating habits in our usual daily hygienic habits so we will get away from this leptospira kind of thing domestic animals such as cattle dogs and pigs may act as a temporary carriers but rodents are the permanent carrier and you, the moment you see a rat in your house then you can just remember of leptospira and uh, uh, probable uh, zoonotic infection and uh, you must be aware of it usually excreta or urine of these animals uh, which comes in uh, uh, contact with human beings through direct contact can cause this leptospirosis then there are in leptospirosis there are there are jaundice like symptoms there is kidney failure is there their heart uh, failure or heart affection is there 
and then uh, death also occurs many times so it is a really uh, serious disease it is called wills disease also uh, i will not elaborate on more in human uh, symptoms because i'm a veterinarian i may be knowing a little more about in animals so but i'm just giving a passing reference to this can be treated but must be conscious rickettsial infections rickettsia are very small organisms but uh, they cause irreversible damage to the human host associated with high morbidity morbidity means the number of people which are affected by the disease and mortality means number of uh, people killed by the disease so mortality rate is as high as 20 to 50% if a rickettsial infection occurs to a human being uh, this zoonotic diseases considered important in india are like there are uh, rickettsia causes epidemic typhus murine typhus scrub typhus indian tick typhus and q fever these are all diseases which are can cause 30 to 50% deaths in human beings this is scrub typhus and it is caused by bite of a infected larval mites you can diagnose it by some procedures like pcr and other things doxycycline and other uh, agents can help to get rid of it but it is better uh, to take care of the ticks lice machhar bakhi from your house so that you can avoid these deadly diseases arbo viral diseases like japanese encephalitis virus dengue virus you must be here yeah, listening to these words we on often some of you must have suffered of dengue and chikungunya also or heard about it or uh, these are all arbo viral diseases which are uh, having a connection with ticks and other uh, smaller uh, animals which uh, actually pass on this disease you can see the symptoms of dengue fever here there is transmission is by bites of aedes aegypti the the mosquito which usually it is seen in early morning and late uh, and in the evening and it uh, this dengue is also known as break bone fever it causes a severe saddle black fever headache uh, then rashes are there then it is uh, so progressing centripetally to face trunks and limbs and the fever can you know make you like go, uh, very troublesome for say 5 to 7 days and cause leukopenia and other problems there are complications of hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome also so there it this treatment is symptomatic but it is better to avoid this through connection Japanese encephalitis virus is also seen. It was first recovered in Bellur and Pondicherry in 1950s. It is due to bite of Culex uh, mosquito. I will not go in details about the symptoms and treatment of it. I will just give a passing of chicken gunia caused by bite of again Aedes aegypti. It is like a big rawan. Uh, but uh, this is a uh, mosquito which causes many of the deadly diseases and uh, we must be aware of it leishmaniasis is a protozoan like one cell organism which is more seen in uh, like uh, dense uh, or humid uh, part of country like bihar jharkhand bengal up where more the uh, rivers are there and we can see the more occurrence of this disease caused by this uh, Uh, this fly and uh, this is uh, uh, also known as kala azar was more seen in uh, african countries but it is also seen in our india also it is uh, more uh, related to the skin and uh, to some organs and flavotoma uh, sand fly this fly causes this transfer of this disease there is teniasis and cysticercosis tenia as i told you it is seen in tenia saginata is moderately reported 
Tenaceous solium is more in seen in India. It is comes to us, comes to human beings through ingestion of infective cystis arcae in undercooked pork. If uh, we people have a source, a uh, resource of undercooked pork, if we can get tenaceous solium. If we get uh, beef which is not cooked properly, then tenaceous saginata uh, is uh, uh, available for infecting us. Through ingestion of food, water, and vegetables, which are contaminated with eggs of these parasites, cystic sarcosis is also a tissue infection which is after exposure of tenaceous solium, which is seen. It is a this worm is a pork tapeworm, which is seen. The tapeworm is available in pork in the swine meat. What we see in human beings is like muscle pain. Painful nodules in the muscles, and there are seizures and other uh, serious uh, uh, symptoms are there. There are a number of methods of diagnosis, and there are some methods of prevention. It is the prevention more of uh, important is like you can cook your food properly, cook uh, you know boil your water properly, or, or uh, uh, like uh, have some action on your water source to cleanse your water source. to clean eat clean clean food to stay in clean environment to clean up uh, your pets and your clean your uh, the surroundings where animals are at access can avoid the these diseases toxoplasmosis as i told you which comes from cats to us and can be transmitted congenitally to pregnant mothers and can cause abortions so if you are keeping a cat at home keep her dewormed properly keep the excreta of it away or uh, not accessible to human beings avoid the uh, interaction with the excreta of these animals anthrax has been caused uh, has been seen very deadly virus deadly sorry bacteria which is the oldest recorded disease of the animals human history animal history may sabse purana disease jo hai zoonotic is bacillus anthracis or anthrax humans acquire infection from cattle sheep goat horses swine anthrax is zoonotic in southern india we see more seen in southern india than north india it is uh, seen in sheep in andhra outbreaks are seen in mysore orissa and other places so <laughs> this was a, a little zest of uh, whatever uh, diseases uh, are caused by uh, the uh, animals and uh, which are transmitted to human beings and there are n number of uh, you know misconceptions about uh, basically rabies which will i will say uh, rabies uh, ke bare mein bahut sari galat fehmiyan hai and uh, और थोड़ा नॉलेज कम है पेट स्कीपिंग के बारे में सो आई विल जस्ट लाइक टू गिव अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ दैट सो रेबीज इज लाइक यू नो फियर सम कॉजिंग कॉजिंग फियर इन पेट लवर्स बिकॉज ऑफ द डॉग्स एंड कैट्स but if you keep proper uh, uh, health uh, procedures proper vaccinations of your animals so these diseases will not dare to come to us and uh, will try to trouble us i think it was like, uh, more like a technical presentation maybe <laughs> some of you might uh, not have got uh, very uh, this thing but uh, it was very important because uh, uh, as we uh, celebrate our uh, you know interaction with our animals day in and day out we see we people love so the way people are getting you know solitary and introvert they are more inclined towards their pets but uh, you they should be uh, aware of the uh, like like uh, this uh, facts also so they will keep them uh, safe so i think uh, that was it uh, i will thank chantanu uh, raste ji and navnat devkar ji for giving me this opportunity to talk to you people all and uh, thank you very much thank you dr sunil over yeah. to chandra raste
Fantastic, fantastic. Means uh, this is this is really really important. Like everybody should know about the diseases which are trans transformed from the animal to the human because we are not aware of that. We are actually we feel that animals are friends, uh, dogs and obviously they are friends. They are, but at the same time you should know like what diseases they are carry actually and uh, everybody should aware of that. Yes, this is this is really really important because. Uh, uh, cat, dog, and uh, all other, even cows, even even I think lumpy skin disease is also now coming. Yeah, I will have to tell you about that, uh, about that yeah. uh, a little bit. If I, if I, I have a time. Yeah. I, I, so actually, lumpy skin disease is rampant nowadays. It is like a, a big havoc in cattle, uh, pan India, all over India now, right now, and people are you know afraid of taking uh, uh, cattle milk. They are uh, saying uh, we don't want milk from cattle. Uh, can we can take milk from buffalo, but we will not take from cattle. There is myth, there are misconceptions like uh, any bacteria or virus. I would like to tell you from which is from uh, uh, resource uh, resource from the animals or any 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 uh, like uh, non animate objects also will be killed at 70 degree centigrade. So if you are getting a boiled milk for yourself, it is there is no bacteria or virus can affect you. So you are you are absolutely safe to consume the cattle milk as well as buffalo milk, and uh, you should not avoid it due to fear of lumpy skin disease. This doesn't cause anything to human beings. It is not even causing anything to buffaloes. It is just a disease of uh, cattle. But people nowadays are very afraid. They are stopped to eating, drinking milk and all. Don't do that, people. We must spread a message, positive message to the people that let us go for all out for meat. Let us go all out for milk. It is no harm if we get eat it with a proper processing. Like milk should be boiled. The meat should be uh, cooked properly. That's it. It is not going to cause anything. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. So precaution is the key. I think yeah. you have to take a precaution always. Uh, uh, that doesn't matter which animal we are surrounded uh, by. The, the even in yes. our society also, a lot of animals are there. So yeah. I think uh, animals are. We are surrounded by a lot of animals. Yeah. The, the size doesn't matter. The you have to <laughs> at the most precaution. Uh, I think that is the key of uh, the thing. And really, thank you very much. You are explaining very. Good manner, rather means a lot of words everybody don't know about it, but they yeah. understand. Like uh, the main uh, aim of today's uh, program is like to get awareness about the uh, diseases because there are a lot of diseases surrounded yes. by uh, yes. even in the animals also. So that mm -hmm. is very very important for human beings also to uh, make uh, take the knowledge of that and uh, take a precaution rather because uh, yes. even I think. Uh, COVID is also, love the world is stopped because of the COVID. So yes. everybody is now very, very serious about this uh, yes, yes. thing. So thank you. Very and, uh, our aim is like uh, your platform, like Nava Urja is so nice that uh, removing the misconceptions from the mind of uh, the society and yes. inculcating good habits and give good thoughts in them. So it's a good uh, like uh, motive to <laughs> educate or uh, inform the people about these things. Yes, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I think uh, I think uh, we can uh, move to Navnath sir. I think you can uh, explain about the platforms, and then we can take a cross questions. Anybody they can write down the questions in the chat box, or they can raise the hand and they can ask. So I think uh... Dr. Sunil, thank you, thank you very much. Your uh, session was very good, very informative. Tha. Disease के ऊपर आपने यहाँ पे बात किया और definitely ये session जो भी Facebook के ऊपर देख रहा है अभी वो उनको definitely इसके benefits मिलने वाला है जो record ये recorded version भी रहने वाला है ताकि लोगों को इसका benefit मिले तो सबसे पहले मैं आपको बहुत सारा धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ कि आपने आपके जितना भी busy schedules है अभी जो नया disease आया है वो disease में से भी आपने time निकाल के आज यहाँ पे ताकि लोगों की एक जागरूकति बने लोगों को पता चले कि यार ये जो एनिमल्स है वाले उसमें जो भी डिसीज ट्रांसफर होते हैं ह्यूमंस में 
उसके बारे में अपनी काफी अवेयरनेस यहाँ पे किया है सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच मैं आगे बढ़ते हुए कुछ फिप के जो प्लेटफॉर्म है वो प्लेटफॉर्म के बारे में यहाँ पे बात करना चाहूंगा फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज एंड प्रोफेशनल के बहुत सारे प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं जैसे कि आज का जो हम लोग प्रोग्राम ले रहे हैं नव ऊर्जा का प्रोग्राम है नव ऊर्जा के प्रोग्राम में हम लोग लाइफ सोशल हेल्थ एंड इन्वायरमेंट के लिए तीन टॉपिक के ऊपर ज्यादा से ज्यादा फोकस कर रहे हैं जो लोगों के डे टू डे जिंदगी का एक भाग है सो so, नव ऊर्जा के साथ साथ में फिप के साथ में बिजनेस नेटवर्क के प्लेटफॉर्म है जो पर्टिकुलरली जो लोग बिजनेस करते हैं और प्रोफेशनल पीपल्स है उनके लिए प्लेटफॉर्म हम लोगों ने बनाया है यहाँ पे <coughs> लोग नेटवर्किंग करते हैं एक दूसरे को बिजनेस रेफर करते हैं रिकमेंड करते हैं एक दूसरे के बिजनेस में हेल्प करने की कोशिश करते हैं और एक दूसरे को हाथ दे के आगे बढ़ने की हेल्प कर रहा है इसके साथ में बिजनेस स्पॉट भी पूरे भारत भर से अलग अलग एंटरप्रेनर्स एक बिजनेस स्पॉट पे मिलते हैं एक दूसरे के साथ फ्रेंडशिप करते हैं एक दूसरे के बिजनेस में पार्टनरशिप करने की कोशिश करते हैं यहाँ पे मेंटरिंग प्रोग्राम भी होता है यहाँ पे अलग अलग सेमिनार्स होते हैं जो बिजनेस रिलेटेड होते हैं इसके साथ साथ में फिप के एक प्लेटफॉर्म के पर उमन ट्रेनर एक प्लेटफॉर्म पंद्रह अगस्त से हम लोगों ने चालू किया है यहाँ पे अलग अलग उमन्स ये प्लेटफॉर्म पे जुड़ रहे हैं और उमन ही उमन को हेल्प करने की कोशिश कर रही है जहाँ पे हम लोग बात करते हैं कि कोई भी बिजनेस करने के लिए सबसे पहले इच्छा होनी होने जरूरी होती है इच्छा के साथ साथ में नॉलेज होना जरूरी होता है और नॉलेज के साथ में काम करना पड़ता है कर्तव्य करना पड़ता है ये सब का मिला के हम लोग कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि हर एक बिजनेस ओनर को हेल्प करे सपोर्ट करे कल का अगर ग्रोथ हम लोगों को देखना है कल का देश का भवितव्य देखना है तो आज के युवा को हम लोगों को डेवलप करना जरूरी है इसलिए फिप के प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर यूथ प्लेटफॉर्म भी हम लोगों ने बनाया है यहाँ पे भी अलग अलग यूथ फिप के साथ जुड़ रहे हैं इसके साथ साथ में इंडस्ट्री इनसाइट जो सैटरडे का इवनिंग सात बजे का जो प्रोग्राम होता है नव ऊर्जा का ये सेकेंड और फोर्थ सैटरडे होता है वैसे ही फर्स्ट थर्ड एंड फिफ्थ सैटरडे को हम लोग इंडस्ट्री इंसाइट का प्रोग्राम लेते हैं इसमें भी हर एक सेक्टर से हम लोग एक्सपर्ट्स को यहाँ पे इनवाइट करते हैं और वो एक्सपर्ट्स अपना नॉलेज एक्सपीरियंस अदर बिजनेस ओनर्स और प्रोफेशनल्स के साथ शेयर करता है इसके साथ में बिजनेस डिजिटल है बिजनेस करता है आगे चल के यहाँ पे एग्रीकल्चर इंपोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट्स मेंटोरिंग इस अलग अलग सेक्टर्स पे हम लोग काम करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और अलग अलग तरह से इंडस्ट्री को कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं इनडायरेक्टली हम लोग चाहते हैं कि नेशन के ग्रोथ के लिए नेशन को बिल्डिंग करने के लिए हमारा एक छोटा सा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन यहाँ पे मिले और इसी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए हम लोग चाहते हैं कि जो भी बिजनेस ओनर्स है जो भी प्रोफेशनल्स है वो हमारे साथ जुड़े हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए सामने आपको बिजनेस स्पॉट का एक लिंक दिया हुआ है उस लिंक से आप हमारे साथ जुड़ सकते हैं बिजनेस नेटवर्क के लिए लिंक दिया है वहां से आप हमारे साथ जुड़ सकते हैं और मैं चाहता हूँ कि नेक्स्ट सैटरडे इंडस्ट्री इंसाइट्स में जो फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज का फाउंडेशन डे है वो फाउंडेशन डे का स्पेशल प्रोग्राम हम लोग लेके आ रहे हैं और उसका नाम है स्वयंपूर्ण ग्राम से आत्मनिर्भर भारत अगर हमारा गांव हमारा ग्राम स्वयंपूर्ण होता है तो हमारा देश भी आत्मनिर्भर बनेगा सो so, ये काफी बढ़िया काफी अच्छा सेशन हम लोग लेके आ रहे हैं और यहाँ पे हम लोग कुछ इंटरनेशनल स्पीकर को हम लोगों ने इन्वाइट किया है उसमें से है हमारे प्रोफेसर प्रवीण खांडवे सर जो अमरावती से है उन्होंने टॉपिक लिया है रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग द नीड फॉर द बेटर टुमारो कल का दिन अच्छा बनाना है तो उसके लिए रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग करना सबसे जरूरी है और वो क्यों जरूरी है वो सुनने के लिए आप नेक्स्ट सैटरडे फर्स्ट अक्टूबर को इवनिंग चार बजे इसी प्लेटफॉर्म पे जुड़े इसके साथ साथ में हमारे साथ में डॉक्टर मनोज कुमार मिश्रा साहब आने वाले हैं फर्स्ट अक्टूबर को उनका जो सब्जेक्ट है टॉपिक है वो है रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड आत्मनिर्भर भारत आत्मनिर्भर बनाने के लिए गांव का रूरल एरिया का डेवलपमेंट क्यों जरूरी है उसको किसी तरह से हम लोग कर सकते हैं उसके ऊपर सेशंस लेंगे प्रोफेसर मनोज कुमार मिश्रा सो so, मैं चाहता हूं कि आप सब लोग फिप के साथ जुड़े रहे और आपके ग्रोथ के लिए नेशन के ग्रोथ के लिए आपका सहयोग दें सो so, चलिए नेक्स्ट पार्ट के लिए जाते हैं क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ओवर टू शंतनु रास्ते सर यस थैंक यू नमराज जी आई थिंक इफ एनीबडी हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस प्लीज राइट डाउन इन द चैट बॉक्स 
or raise the hand and ask the question. So, uh, because I know this is a very uh, uh, important topic. So, uh, uh, maybe a lot of people have a lot of questions in their mind, but that doesn't matter. Even, uh, even after this program also from YouTube or from the Facebook, if anybody has any questions, they can write down over there also. But I think I, I will... Uh, I will ask like, uh, he already answered my question. That is what is lumpy skin disease and all. Uh, even uh, whether we can uh, consume the uh, milk also. If uh, yes. that, that, that is already answered. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, because what I feel is like animals are always there in our society also. There are a lot of people have their uh, uh, animals and uh, they are uh, walk around with them uh, anywhere. Like So what type of precautions particularly society people has to take with this? Because... Uh, Sometimes it happens, they are very uh, like uh, friendly with the animals. They don't even bother about like whether they are jumping on their body or uh, touching with them, kissing with them. They don't bother about it. So yes. type of precautions normal people in the society will take care of because that is very important. Uh, I would like to tell you, uh, just like uh, Modi ji uh, has started like Swachh Bharat ka irada kar liya amne. Uh, why? Because uh, the basic thing was like, you know, they, he started uh, making lat range and all other, uh, all over India as uh, the first priority in his first tenure, I suppose. So the uh, uh, same thing applies to you. This, uh, if you are keeping your pet in a society or in a crowded city or something, but if you are giving him a morning walk and, you know, giving away his uh, this thing to the society, it's not good. So in uh, foreign countries or uh, developed countries, it is seen that if you are uh, strolling with your dog and if you are uh, letting the poo uh, stay in the road, you are fined. You are uh, given, uh, you know, you, you are paid to do some uh, this thing for that. Uh, they are uh, not uh, uh, not expected to do that. So uh, if in our country also, if it is made uh, very strict. Then uh, these uh, society in society, it will not be uh, uh, like you know in larger cities, it will not be a havoc that uh, these uh, dogs create a nuisance due to their excrete and other things. Second thing is like vaccination should be made important, very uh, should be, uh, mandatory to all the animals. Just like it is uh, almost you know people do it uh, for human beings. हमारे घर में एक बच्चा पैदा होता है तो उसको तीसरे दिन हम हॉस्पिटल लेके जाते हैं उसको सारे टीके देते हैं और वो लाइफ टाइम के लिए होता है अनफॉर्चूनेटली इन एनिमल्स द वैक्सीन्स आर यू नो हैविंग इफेक्ट फॉर लाइक सिक्स मंथ्स और वन ईयर मैक्सिमम सो यू नीड टू रिपीट द वैक्सीनेशन एंड वैक्सीनेशन इज द की इफ यू कैंट कांट अवॉइड द डिजीजेस इफ यू कैन अवॉइड दिस ओनली यू कैन अवॉइड इट थ्रू वैक्सीनेशन and cleanliness, clean clean habits. Swachh Bharat animals ke liye bhi hona chahiye. Swachh Bharat human beings ke liye bhi hona chahiye. Everything. Cleanliness is the key. Of course, germs ke against, if you want to fight against germs, keep your animals clean. Keep your, uh, the area where your pets are kept, the area should be clean, dry, and uh, the uh, regular cleanliness of its uh, body is also expected. The pet owner has lots of responsibilities. Sometimes he just uses it for you know, a status purpose. Okay, I have this breed, I have that breed, and I am just, uh, you know, uh, I have 10 dogs and all. No, you can keep one dog or one cat or any small animal or a large animal or whatever. But if you keep it keep neat and clean, vaccinated, it will be wonderful. Okay. There is some question. Thank, yeah, I think uh, one minute. Uh, there is a uh, okay one minute. Uh, from the Facebook, I think we have received one uh, question. Uh, what is the period of in infectivity of NIPAH Nipah virus? Huh. Uh, so uh, encephalitis, and is there any specific treatment for this? There is a question on the Facebook. Uh, details I will have to see uh, the uh, incubation period, but it, mm -hmm. usually it is around uh, two, one to two weeks, 
and uh, yes virus uh, actually usually they don't have any treatment as such only uh, treatment when uh, even even uh, it was there some uh, treatment in covid but other viruses there is almost there is no treatment only vaccination is the key uh, these are all human uh, diseases so i'll let to i'll let to go through detail in it but uh, the thing is usually treatment is uh, antibiotics uh, to avoid the secondary bacterial infections because you cannot kill a virus as such but you can uh, protect uh, your body from the bacteria which are a little larger species than viruses and then uh, it is uh, uh, can control a further damage to your body which is the uh, you know, first damage is done by a virus and then all other bacteria help them to uh, you know create a nuisance in the body so to avoid the multiple infections usually antibiotic treatment is done for viral infections of any kind from sneezing to aids to limp, lumpy skin disease to anything it is not there no, there is even uh, the treatment for rabies is not there the vaccination after post uh, bite is been uh, seen as a kind of treatment and the incubation period varies from uh, you know species to species usually it is from 2 to 8 days 10 days to uh, some 14 days also it depends and it varies and as i said it's a big encyclopedia so <laughs> it's very difficult to remember the exact species and uh, this incubation period but it is usually on this kind of one to two weeks or so there is some question what is the relationship between zoonotic infection disease and infected persons mm usually uh, a person who is uh, immuno compromised jiska immunity kam hai usually jo weak hota hai jo har bar bimar padta hai ya fir jo usually hota hai he can be you know more uh, it can be a more threat to this this people to get uh, access to uh, this zoonotic diseases as compared to normal uh, healthy human being so yeah uh, infected person usually there are less diseases which are carried on from human beings to animals but more chances of getting some diseases and viruses bacteria from animals to human beings because not lot of uh, vaccinations are been done to the animals the vaccinations which are available are very uh, less vaccines available very peculiar typical and that too many times uh, the owner doesn't give sometimes it is like very it should be done uh for that uh, even our veterinarians role is also very important so we need to educate these dairy farmers pet owners pet farmer all those animal keepers about uh, how to get uh, clear this thing of uh, uh, get rid of the diseases there is some question is there any fish inspection practices before selling i think there should be but i don't think they are <laughs> because india is a you know a subcontinent which is having thousands of kilometers of you know sea shore and i have seen as stayed in a place for two and a half years in kokan where the the sea shore was you know 2 kilometers away and people used to go and fetch the fish from there and start eating it by processing and all there were there are uh, in our developing country i think there are no these infections are seen they are needed for meat inspections also even our so, uh, the our veterinarians uh, who are there in the uh, government sector they always feel that there should be meat inspection and meat uh, you know the jahan par bakri kaati jaati hai aur aap wahan par ye lene jaate ho mutton lene jaate ho wo place kitni clean hai what kind of a knife that butcher has used to play, uh, you know uh, take that meat you never know if you go to hotel ye to baatein aati nahi you don't know about whatever is been done in the kitchen kya hota hai kya add hota hai kya we don't know that but it is required yeah it it should it is ideal must be done in uh, developing country but uh, i'm sure it is not very uh, obvious practice in india <laughs> Okay. you must go for it but 
not uh, available. And there are less uh, zoonotic diseases from fishes to us, uh, apart from food poisoning. But some bacteria, if still uh, fishes are there, then bacteria can uh, get access. And then there is fungus and other things can be uh, affected to human beings. But I said typical, there are diseases that are not fish here. हाँ डॉग से आते हैं कैट से आते हैं कैटल से आते हैं आते हैं बहुत सारे आते हैं तो और एक सवाल है व्हाट इज़ द बेस्ट माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल मॉनिटरिंग मेथड फॉर द इफेक्टिव सेंटेजेशन इन द एनिमल हाउस कैन यू जस्ट रिपीट द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज़ द बेस्ट माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल मॉनिटरिंग मेथड फॉर द इफेक्टिव uh, we are always, uh, right nowadays, we are uh, quite elaborating on this due to LSD, lumpy skin disease. 1% uh, phenol, 1% uh, formalin, sodium hypochlorite solution. And there are uh, three, four, these agents are very important to clean the, then there are pyrethroid uh, uh, medicines are available, which we can be sprayed at least once in a week. Uh, in the dairy farm or kennel of the dog or uh, house of cat or whatever. But if we do that sanitization, then on that day, your animal should be out or he will get toxicity of that. But these uh, agents can be used, like formalin is there, sodium hypochlorite is there, there. We have learned about all this sanitization important in COVID. <laughs> we have done a lot of things. Uh, you know, apne sabji ka wo jo hota hai, plastic ka thali bhi sanitize kiya, yet sanitize kiya, wo sanitize kiya. So we are now habituated. It. We were not earlier, but now it is done. But it is very important in animal houses. It should be done, and we are doing it on the now you know uh, uh, state basis. Now we have advised through CEOs of the all jilla panchayats to all the uh, gram panchayats to do, do the uh, disinfection of the dairy farms in the affected LSD affected dis, uh, districts so that uh, the cleanliness will be there and uh, the, the agent which is causing this disease will be taken care of. But this should be a normal practice, should be done. <laughs> great, 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 great. Uh, Sebi says, is there any chance of getting rabies Sorry. In there any chance of getting the rabies in the latter stage, uh, even after taking scheduled injections? If yes, what will be the time period? Uh, see, uh, I will uh, tell you about the rabies vaccination protocol. Uh, I will first uh, tell you about the rabies vaccination protocol in animals. Like uh, uh, when you keep a pet like cat or dog, uh, you must vaccinate uh, him for uh, rabies uh, on the third, uh, third month of its age. Then you must repeat it on uh, ninth month of age. And then every year you must vaccinate the dog or cat if you are keeping at home. First thing that. Then uh, if you have your pet a dog bite, then uh, uh, you must give uh, injections of rabies on first day, that is zeroth day. 20, within 24 hours of the bite, then after third day, on third, seventh, fourteenth, and twenty eighth day, and if there is big wound, then on nineteenth day also, and then there is one uh, injection called serum globulin, uh, rabies globulin, which is a uh, little costly but must be used if you are having a bigger, uh, large wound due to dog bite, and then uh, it must be done. And this, all these rules apply to human beings also. Like not uh, preventive vaccination on th uh, third of month or something, third month of life. But if you are having a dog bite on you, uh, human, uh, human beings, then 0, 3, 7, 14, 28 must be done. And immunoglobulin, in case the wound is big, should be done. It should, the wound should not be sutured at all. Most I mean, 99% should not be sutured. Then, if you have a dog bite, then you can uh, first what first thing you should do is use a caustic soda like uh, you know, Ariel, Nirma, whatever uh, cloth washing powders. You should use any of these 
on your that wound wherever uh, the dog bite is there and put that hand or part uh, on the near running water for 10 minutes and scrub with uh, caustic soda uh, soap so that the most of the virus if at all is accessed on your body will be killed there and then and there itself and apart from that then you can go for uh, post bite vaccinations this rule applies for human beings also again uh, these uh, standard uh, seen uh, on pharmacological basis it is seen that one uh, dose of rabies contains 2.5 international units of rabies uh, uh, vaccine like uh, antibodies so it actually the graph if you see it goes on for one year or more than that even for two years it stays in the body so uh, theoretically if you are, you are bitten by a dog today and you take that post bite therapy for one month or two months whatever and then again after five months you are bitten by a dog the question comes same comes for a dog also comes for human beings also. i get at least five to 10 times calls every day regarding this ki kya karu abhi kaata hai fir parso kaata tha ab kya karu fir se le lu kya to waise itni zarurat nahi hai agar cleanliness kiya agar 6 7 month hue ho pehle bite ko aur pehle schedule ko to yes you can go for one shot why because rabies is deadly rabies causes more than 20 to 30000 human deaths in our country we don't know what the uh, how many animals are you know dead because of rabies in this country so it is very serious issue and that's why we are celebrating uh, world rabies day on 20th of september now every year it has started from 2007 to commemorate the death anniversary of louis pasteur who invented the rabies vaccine it is a great boon of him to the manhood and you, uh, animals kind they uh, are every uh, species of the world hum sab ne uska rune rehna chahiye ki usne bahut bada kaam kiya hai <laughs> so for that to give him respect we are celebrating that and we veterinarians so what we do on that day we usually uh, arrange pre vaccinations camp we have vaccination camps for uh, pets and uh, stray dogs so that is there If at all six months pass हुए हो ज्यादा मंथ हुए हो तो एक शॉट लेना अच्छा है That is much safer rather. तेरे अभी अभी जो नया लंपी आया है उसके बारे में आप कुछ अवेयरनेस के लिए लोगों को कुछ इंस्ट्रक्शन देना चाहेंगे Yes. लंपी स्किन डिजीज के तीन मेथड है कंट्रोल करने के एक तो है वेक्टर कंट्रोल दूसरा है मूवमेंट कंट्रोल और तीसरा है वैक्सीनेशन तो वेक्टर कंट्रोल मींस वेक्टर मींस ये मच्छर मक्खिया फ्लाइज टिक्स लाइसेस दे आर कॉजिंग दे आर टेकिंग दिस वायरस फ्रॉम वन एनिमल वन कैटल एंड कॉजिंग टू द इफ यू आर बाइटिंग द अदर कैटल देन देयर इज एलएसडीज ऑकरिंग देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ पुस्टुल्स ऑन द बॉडी एंड द डेरी फार्मर घबरा जाता है कि बोला अरे मेरे को तो होगा नहीं मुझे तो नहीं होगा ये तो इसकी वजह से पीपल आर अफ्रेड एंड उनको मैं कहना चाहूंगा अगर कोई फार्मिंग सेक्टर से इसमें सुन रहे हो कोई हो सुनने वाले तो जरूर ये समझ ले कि इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनी थिंग टू ह्यूमन बींग्स इन इंडिया फॉर थ्री ईयर्स इट इज बीन एग्जिस्टेंट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन से ये वायरस है जब से वो करोना आया तब एलएसडी भी साथ में शायद कहां से आ गया मालूम नहीं लास्ट ईयर महाराष्ट्र में एलएसडी वाज देयर बट कोरोना इतना रंपट था उस दिन उस टाइम में तो एलएसडी को कोई तवज्जो नहीं दी गई पीपल वेयर यू नो मिसिंग देयर ओन रिलेटिव्स एंड ऑल दे वर नॉट वेरी मच अवेयर ऑफ एलएसडी बट दिस ईयर नाउ दिस अगस्त 88 अगस्त से ये बहुत ज्यादा स्प्रेड हुआ महाराष्ट्र में तो ज्यादा है Uh, कुछ जिलों में है लेकिन घबराना नहीं है डरना नहीं मैं हमेशा कहता हूं कि मराठी मध्य में समझो कि काजी करू ना काजी घया एक पंच लाइन है प्रत्येक लेक्चर मध्य मध्य मी संग वरी बट टेक केयर तो ये करना है वेक्टर कंट्रोल मोमेंट कंट्रोल मीन्स अपने जानवर बेचना नहीं है जानवर खरीदना नहीं है 
मैं सामान्य मराठी डेरी फार्मर को बोलता हूँ कि देव दिवाली पर गाय घर ना कुछली गाय विकू ना बैल विकू ना बैल आनू ना लाइक दैट डोट परचेस एनिमल्स एंड फॉर नॉट टू थ्री मंथ्स अंटील एंड अनलेस वी गेट फुल्ली ऑल द वैक्सीनेशन ऑफ द लाइफ स्टॉक वी आर प्लैनिंग फॉर यू नो ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी लैक्स वैक्सीनेशन ऑन थर्टी एथ ऑफ सप्टेंबर इट सेल्फ एंड वी आर डूइंग डे एंड नाइट I will tell you, Nawaz Ji, I have started. I am starting every day at seven o'clock in the morning, reaching home at one in the night, not getting time to eat. Also, but today somehow I have managed to reach at seven o'clock and <laughs> interact with you. It was a really tough task, but uh, we are doing our best uh, as veterinarians to take control of this disease. Should not nobody should be afraid of it. All go all out and consume the milk. कुछ डरना नहीं है सर इसके लिए इसको कंट्रोल में रखने के लिए प्रिकॉशंस क्या क्या लेना चाहिए इसके बारे में थोड़ा सा बताइए ना फार्मर्स लोग आगे जाके इस रिकॉर्ड फार्मर्स ने क्या करना चाहिए सबसे हाँ सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है अगर आप जो भी आपका डेयरी फार्म है वो उसका क्लीनलीनेस सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है वहां पर मच्छर मक्खिया टिक्स नहीं होनी चाहिए तो जो डेयरी फार्म होते हैं जिसमें ज्यादा पक्का ये नहीं होता मीन्स स्ट्रक्चर नहीं होता मीन्स मराठी खास करके कच्चा दैट शुड बी नो फिल्ड विथ सम मटेरियल सीमेंटिंग मटेरियल सो दैट द डेरी फार्म शुड बी लिटिल बिट क्लीन इफ द प्लीन हेड ऑफ द कैटल इज जस्ट हैविंग द ब्रिक्स एंड नॉट सीमेंट हैज बीन अप्लाइड सो एटलीस्ट अप्लाय फॉर द चुना लावा मनत Uh, that will uh, clear of uh, the ticks uh, population increase because ticks grow in cracks and crevices in the dairies and then uh, these ticks pass on these diseases fortunately it is not affecting buffaloes wonderfully i don't know uh, some reason but it is they are because maybe they, because of their thick skin or something but they are not affecting buffaloes fortunately so at least they are saved but cattle yes they, uh, it is very common and uh, क्लीनलीनेस इज द की लाइक वेक्टर कंट्रोल जो टिक्स कंट्रोल है वो करना चाहिए और अपने हाथ क्लीन रखने चाहिए अगर आपने अपने घर में अपने कैटल को कोई इन्फेक्टेड है तो उसको आइसोलेट करना चाहिए हम तो बोलते हैं इट इज जस्ट लाइक कोरोना उसको आइसोलेट करो क्वारंटाइन करो और आगे से अगर आप कोई एनिमल लो तो एटलीस्ट फोर्टीन डेज उसको क्वारंटाइन करो ही करो फिर उसको आपके बाकी हर्ड में शामिल करो तब तक यू जस्ट ऑब्जर्व फॉर एनी डिजीजेस एनी माल फॉर्मेशन इन इट एंड दैट विल बी बेटर Thank you, thank you, Sunil. I think we can take Gajanan uh, Anit's uh, question. I think long uh, means uh, is uh, raise his hand since long. I think Gajanan Anit ji, uh, you have a question, right? So you can please ask. Yes. Ah, uh, good evening, um, uh, matters and uh, peers uh, in this group. Ah, uh, sir, my question is, uh, uh, I think it is. Uh, related to just the uh, uh, mr deepak has mentioned and uh, spoken about that it was related with covid you know this uh, uh, covid uh, initially it was discussed that it has uh, arrived from uh, uh, bats yeah uh -huh. but but later on uh, there were uh, uh, few more uh, researches and uh, explanations given uh, by scientists and many uh, institutions that yeah. it has not originated from, from uh, mammals or bats so what are the myths and what are the facts you know and and i want to know uh, the exact uh, uh, death death ratio because of corona versus because of fear and because of wrong medication Correct. I want to I want to point out about uh, remedies here. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Very very valid question. Actually, I am a veterinary doctor, so I may not uh, comment uh, author as as authority on the treatment aspect of COVID. Uh, it may not be proper from from my side, but I will like to tell you, sir, uh, that uh, bats are a source for many diseases. Like you know, rabies ka sabse bada source. बैट्स ही है और देर आर मेनी डिजीजेस विच आर यू नो बीन स्प्रेड फ्रॉम बैट्स अभी बैट्स क्या करते हैं कि वो जस्ट नाइट में दे मूव अबाउट यूजुअली 
and they are you know silent on in the day time so in the night uh, they can you know their saliva or their excreta can uh, you know get uh, spread on the uh, our crops and if they are eaten like that it is a chain kind of thing if there are there if people are working in the night in their fields then there are bites of uh, bats are there and there are not only rabies uh, but many diseases are seen now uh, regarding uh, spread of covid due to bats was uh, uh, in debate but many facts about covid are even not you know, clear till now to many of the you know even i think uh, world health organization and many organizations still today that what exactly made this uh, virus uh, you know mutated at then one first uh, uh, strain was not that like a killing instinct but other uh, strain was you know they it created a havoc and every house had seen some relatives there in that period and third third omicron was not that much it was just, just like a cold and this thing so there are unexplained uh, questions to and yes fear you said rightly that fear was also one of the thing which must might have caused many of the deaths or many of the affections because there was so media hype nowadays we are facing this media hype on lsd lumpy skin disease people are spreading like you know rumors like anything people are showing the photos of you know a chicken meat and uh, sh- showing some nodules on it some people are showing some you know uh, back of a man with some pustules and saying this is caused due to lsd people are showing anything which is almost all wrong and even now government has spread a ordinance just like it was there in covid uh, time now 2009 ka jo uh, the law has been applied if somebody spreads rumor or wrong information whatsapp baby so he can be prosecuted and he will be taken out to jail because uh, yahan se kya hota hai ki fear psychosis develop hota hai just there was a lot of fear psychosis in covid time we were afraid we are using gloves everything so much sanitizers everything everything i was like a, just like a no like i was moving about in my field like a astronaut with all these caps and everything you really people <laughs> used to get afraid of me also dairy farmer and doctor sab ye kya pehna hai mere bolo pehna padega do to take to care, take care but uh, people were afraid people were had had um, you know many misconceptions so not only covid but every emerging disease which is newer to the society newer to human beings newer to human health and newer to animal as well health as well has created a problem due to this social media and news media itself also we are facing lots of trouble every day one channel wala comes with uh, give me some bite sir kya hai lady kya hua hai dud pine ka nahi ye hone ka ye whatever like you know sometimes we get irritated itna zyada hype hota hai kyunki zyada charcha hone se people are getting more afraid hum bolte hai ki ye sirf cat abhi just regarding to lsd i am saying it is just happening to cattle and buffalo or not buffaloes so you should not be afraid it is not happening to any other species not even human beings so you should not be afraid kitne bhi aap wo pustules ko haath lagao us pe so jao aapko wo hone wala hai nahi so why you should be afraid similarly covid mein itne sare bahut sari cheeze hongi jo us time pe hui there there were you know uh, positive assumptions and negative assumptions fear psychosis was created humne sabne wo experience kiya hai aur wo bad hai it is not good we should go for authentic information we should go for you know government uh, related uh, explanations and we should rely on that uh, blindly instead of questioning और क्वेरिंग अबाउट इट लाइक रेमडेसिविर के बारे में भी ऐसा हुआ कोई अभी यहाँ इस पे चल रहा है एलएसडी में चल रहा है कि मिथिलिन ब्लू का यूज करो एलएसडी में मिथिलिन ब्लू करके एक केमिकल है जो कुछ डिजीज में पहले यूज होता था एनिमल्स में ह्यूमन बींग्स में भी मेरे यहाँ से भी मेरे मुझे एक अकाउंटेंट है मुझे किलो भर मिथिलिन ब्लू देखे गए सर प्लीज यूज इट इन योर एल एस डी केसेस i said unless and until i get authentic authentic scientific uh, proof 
of its use in anim uh, animals, I may not go for it. So similarly, I don't know, I cannot comment on the treatment aspect of COVID, but it was also changing every time, you know, in two years. There were remedies we roll over was one of the things. But might be it might be helpful that there are some antiviral agents. Injections are available. We also use it in some dog practice. Not remdesivir, but there are some antiviral agents are there. So we cannot question on that. But you should not be afraid and fear psychosis should be avoided. You should rely on your doctor. You should believe on your doctor. Google Guru ko Sharan Jate hai. Google Guru. जो भी बताता है उसको सही मानते हैं लेकिन गूगल गुरु जो होता है वो uh, 100 टाइप्स के पॉसिबिलिटीज बताता है सो वी शुड नॉट नो रिलाय ऑन गूगल गुरु जस्ट रिलाय ऑन द ऑथेंटिक इंफॉर्मेशन वी कॉल गो फॉर इट यस देयर वाज वन क्वेश्चन हियर आई कैन सी दैट सम पर्टिकुलर डिजीज इज एब्सेंट इन लक्षद्वीप एंड अदर प्लेस इन एनी स्पेसिफिक रीजन CB Katrava, some, somebody has asked this yeah, question. CBK, yes, yeah. yeah, uh, it is possible. Maybe, uh, like, you know, uh, the spread of the agent, or the positive agent, or the positive bacteria, or the positive virus, it will spread to the multiply to expand to the conducive atmosphere. It will not happen. It will not happen. It they say uh, there are many of the diseases which usually um, well, they, humare, uh, cattle make hemorrhagic septic disease hai, HS. Toh, wo, uh, spread kaha hota hai, jahan par jo uh, rivers behti hai, uske kaat par jo villages hai, those uh, uh, villages who are dwelling on the you know, river side, near to river, there uh, because of humidity due to, due to other act, uh, aspects, uh, that uh, pasturella multocida multiplies very well. So uh, the cases of uh, hemorrhagic septicemia in cattle are seen in the more seen in the places where there is river flowing or uh, people are settling on the banks of that river. But it is not seen in the, in the interior villages or interior parts of that particular district also. There are many diseases which increase in uh, rainy season. There are many diseases they increase in December, cold season, because they can, you know, they can, can, there can be a conducive atmosphere or growth of that maybe particular bacteria, virus. So that is possible that some diseases are, you, know, you cannot say absent, but more uh, prevalent in some area, uh, not prevalent in some area. And uh, even the LSD was last year, it was seen in Maratwada. It was there. It didn't come to our Western Maharashtra. But now it is spread all over. So this situation goes on changing. Then there, are, uh, there can be another reason that uh, if control measures like vaccination, uh, mass vaccinations are taken by government or doctors or uh, medical and veterinary fraternity, then there can be uh, absent of that particular disease in that particular region. Like I said, in Europe, in England, you cannot see rabies. It is not there. Why? Because they had done extensive control program for it. They had made a go, apna good night ka mat stage of that. Like that rabies uh, bat, mats were taken. Like bat kind of square uh, vaccine kind of thing. Which was meat coated. And through helicopters, it was spread all over the country in you know, lakhs of numbers. Thousands and lakhs of numbers all over the country. Especially in the jungle area where foxes, lions, tigers, all those creatures, canines and felines are there. They used to eat it and this was done for 10, 15 years. And then when there was seen, uh, when, uh, analysis was done, it was seen that there are no rabies cases reported in animals and no cases reported in human beings as well. So it is a wonderful achievement because of the extensive role played by the government uh, health departments and veterinary departments. So that is possible. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Sunil. I think there is another uh, Mohit sir asked one. Uh, uh, I think they he wants guidance actually. Why baby's injection is preferred? Even the cat nails. Please share your guidance uh, here. Huh. 
Mm. I think he uh, wants to ask that uh, if there is a cat scratch mm. or uh, this thing, then why uh, rabies injection should be taken? Yes, uh, it is preferred to be taken. Why? I will tell you. Because usually cat licks her body parts, all over her own own body she licks. She licks uh, her own uh, tea, uh, this uh, legs as again and again, again and again. So the saliva can be uh, there on her leg parts. So and even on nails. So if there is a scratch, then it is possible that through that scratch or the virus which may be possibly on that nail can get into the wound part of that human being. So it can cause rabies. Possibly, maybe it is possible. It is not a rule, thumb rule. More rabies cases are seen through dog bite and cat bite because dogs have that canine kind of tooth to you know remove the flesh. And usually, they if they get angry or something, they can you know, bite. But not only bite, but these leaks and other things also are very very dangerous. Like you know, apka the dog बहुत प्यारा है आपको चाटता है यहाँ वहां उसके बिना सो नहीं सकते वो जागने के बाद उसका पहला किसी लेने के बाद ही आप चालू करते अपना दिन ऐसा होगा यहाँ पर कोई स्क्रैच होगा यहाँ पर कोई स्क्रैच होगा और वो अगर वो लीक करता है सो यू मे गेट रेबिज ये धराने के बाद नहीं है दिस इज अ फैक्ट हेल्थ फैक्ट सो यू मस्ट टेक इट इज बेटर टू टेक रेबिज इंजेक्शन इन मेनी ऑफ द केसेस it is not uh, advised that you should avoid it. so i think uh, 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 animals can't speak yeah the main problem because uh, so human being ha- human being has to judge like what they they have the problem and they have to take the precaution rather means that is yes, yes. Uh, um, precaution is much better than cure i think that is the exactly exactly so i think uh, that is the best way uh so uh, i think uh, navnath ji uh, anybody have any questions so please uh, uh, we can take a question again or i think sir ab bahut sara time ho gaya hai yes yes fantastic fantastic mujhe lagta hai ki hame rukna chahiye yes. sawal to aate rahenge kyunki subject hi aisa hai <laughs> to rukne wala subject nahi hai <laughs> to kuch times ka hame bhi follow karna chahiye almost 2 uh, hours ho chuke hai so Uh, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sunil Deshpande sir, कि आपने आपका काफी कीमती समय निकाल के जैसे कि आपने बताया कि आपका शेड्यूल सुबह सात बजे से चालू होता है रात को एक बजे तक चलता है सो so, इतने सारे बिजी शेड्यूल में से आपने टाइम निकाल के हमारे ऑडियंस के लिए आपने टाइम निकाला इसके लिए मैं दिल से आपको धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच और आपके साथ साथ में जो फेसबुक से कुछ लोग हमारे साथ में अभी कनेक्टेड है कुछ अभी जूम पे लाइव हमारे साथ में है तो सारे पार्टिसिपेंट्स का भी मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूँ कि आपने भी आपका कीमती समय निकाल के अः ऊर्जा के आज के प्रोग्राम में आपने पार्टिसिपेट किया और काफी अच्छी तरह से इंफॉर्मेशन जानने की कोशिश की ताकि आप आपके लाइफ में या और आपके जो एनिमल फैमिली है उसमें भी आप आपका कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दे कुछ अच्छा करने की कोशिश कर रहे हो सो थैंक यू ईच एंड एवरी वन जिसने जिसने आज के प्रोग्राम में पार्टिसिपेट किया है डॉक्टर सुनील देश पांडे मैं वापस से आपको धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूँ और आज यही रुकने की मैं आप सब लोगों के पास से अनुमति मांगता हूँ थैंक यू धन्यवाद थैंक यू मिलते हैं मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट सैटरडे इवनिंग चार बजे स्वयं पूर्ण ग्राम से आत्मनिर्भर भारत के लिए थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच